What's going on guys? Welcome back. And today I'm going to be doing a live speed test between Surfshark and NordVPN. Now you'll find links to special deals and discounts to both VPNs in the description down below. So let's get right into it. If you're unsure which one is quicker, we're going to be proving this today. Now, keep in mind that you will get different results, slightly different results depending on your location. But generally, the increase and dec decrease in speeds is going to remain the same. You're just going to have different speeds depending on your internet speed and your location and, you know, depending on which, uh, depending on obviously on the physical distance between you and other countries. So uh, let's get right into this. I already took the liberty of um, testing my speed without a VPN. And we have 5 ping, 11.84 megabits per second of download, and 0 0.82 of upload. Uh, so the, this will be my speed. We're going to open a couple of uh, Ookla. I'm going to be using Ookla, obviously. We're going to open up a couple of Ookla pages and bring it back to my other screen here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the fastest protocols for both VPNs. So that'll be WireGuard for Surfshark and... That'll be Nord links for NordVPN. So just, that's just something to keep in mind if you're wondering which ones I'm using. So let's get right into this. I'm gonna be picking two locations. One location, me here being in Lebanon, one location is going to uh, be somewhere nearby here in Europe. And another location is going to be, now we're gonna be using both uh, the same servers for both tests, for, for, for both VPNs. And another one will be somewhere much, much farther away. Maybe Australia this time around or somewhere in the east. Last time I did a test, I, I tried the United States. So let's try somewhere in the east this time around. Starting with Europe, okay? Let's do Europe. So let's start with Surfshark, actually. I'll go with, um, let's do Ireland this time, okay? Let's see what Ireland has for us in terms of speed. I bring up the page here. Now, if you didn't know, uh, Surfshark has about over 3,200 servers available for you. So there's plenty of servers for you to mess around with. Uh, while Nord has over 5,000 servers, a whopping 5,000 servers. So yeah, we're going to have plenty of room to uh, hop around between servers there as well. So here we are. Uh, we're connected to Dublin. And yeah, if you didn't know, Obviously, you're going to get worse ping because it's only natural when you connect from your own PC and IP to another server and IP and then back to the Internet. You're tunneling, you're kind of tunneling your connection all the way through. So that's that's just going to naturally uh, affect your speed negatively. But and your ping, but a good VPN will actually minimize that decrease as much as possible. And this is what. Uh, Surfshark is doing now for the price obviously is for Surfshark you're paying like less than two dollars for two years for the two-year plan so that's pretty good roughly 50 roughly 50 dollars for a couple of years of this great service so yeah um, so we have 1142 compared to our original uh, speed that's pretty good now uh, the upload isn't that great took quite a bit quite a bit of a hit that's uh, that's about maybe a 30 percent decrease in for this, we have less than a 10%. I'd say this is about a 10 or less than a 10% uh, decrease in speed. So yeah, doing great in terms of speed. So let's disconnect here from Surfshark and connect to Ireland. Um, where's Ireland again? Now, the cool thing about, uh, obviously, what I really like about the uh, UI for Nord is that you can also kind of brush up on your geography. Uh, and this is getting kind of embarrassing. Yeah, here's Ireland. <laughs> so that's that's one cool thing about the uh, UI of, of NordVPN. It kind of refreshes your uh, your your geography uh, so that you can uh, kind of relearn where <laughs> or remember where all the countries are located in the world or on the map. So here we are. We're going to give it a refresh and go. So again, over 5,000 servers for NordVPN. Plenty, plenty of servers for you to pick from. And, it, you know, if, if, the, if you're not 
if you're not uh, if you don't want to connect to an automatic server usually it'll just connect you to, to the fastest server you can just pick uh, you know here it, it gives you the fastest server but what you can do is uh, click this arrow right here and pick the server with the least load so here you can tell the percentages six percent seven percent uh yeah it'll automatically just pick the fastest server for you so you don't really have to mess with this anyway but yeah this is just the amount of traffic that is in uh each server obviously the higher the more traffic that is in there so what's this what's this ooh, wow okay so we have we have slower speeds with uh nord vpn very interesting this is quite a bit of a, uh, 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 yeah, this is this is kind of a surprise to me, actually. So we have faster speeds um, when it comes to Ireland uh, and, and doing doing that kind of uh, close by uh, server speed test. Very interesting. We have much better upload, but mm, uh, that, 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 that download took a hit. So that's uh, that's not looking too good. So we're going to give this another try. Let's go for, we're going to disconnect here. Ireland is the furthest, uh, is the, excuse me, is the farthest one. You know, people use farthest and furthest interchangeably. So yeah, the, don't, don't, uh, don't kind of comment too much about that. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to try, we're, let's, let's go for hmm let's go for the france let's go for the french server okay let's go yeah, i'm locating things on nordvpn in order to pick on uh, yeah that just goes to show how great of a ui it's just very intuitive if you're looking for uh, the countries or servers that you're looking for here so on surfshark I, I, on surfshark i'd just rather look things up so we're gonna go for the paris server here and we're gonna open up a couple of pages. Put it right here. We got a couple of pages uh, for a new speed test. Here we are. <clears throat> Anytime now, and here we go. So just give it a quick refresh on Ookla and go ahead and test it out. So it is, okay, so it's a closer country. We're gonna have better ping. That only makes sense. Uh, and I suspect we're going to have much better speeds as well on both VPNs. But let's see which one does better. Um, oddly enough, uh, I, I mean, Surfshark has been improving their service, but I expected Nord to uh, do better there uh, in terms of speed. But wow, Surfshark is just, uh, yeah, with the WireGuard protocol, they're just doing absolutely great. But just one thing to keep in mind. The logging policy, if you're worried about anonymity and privacy, the logging policy of NordVPN is much more, they, they're much more transparent about what they log and what they don't log. So yeah, when it comes to privacy and anonymity, I would absolutely recommend NordVPN. But if you want a much cheaper service for, you know, if, if you're not that worried about anonymity or privacy and it's not on top of the list and you still want a quick VPN that reliably unlocks over 10 libraries, Surfshark is just great. It's absolutely great. So uh, check out these uh, results here. So not bad ping. The, the ping is not that bad. Uh, you can still game with uh, 54, but uh, that's that's just the result of the uh, you know uh, close physical distance between Lebanon uh, and uh, France here. So yeah, it's only natural we're gonna get better ping. 11.23 as opposed to 11.84. Uh, my original uh, speed here. So pretty good. Uh, got better speeds with Ireland, oddly enough. That may have been just an anomaly. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, so yeah, and 0 .0 0 0.55 of upload. Yeah, Surfshark is not providing the best upload speeds. So let's disconnect from Surfshark and try out the French server here. Let's let's try to let's make sure that we're connecting to Paris. Is there a Paris server? Okay, they, they don't really give us actual location. So, yeah, we're just gonna connect. We're already connected. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that I guess it's a Paris server. Um, so refresh that real quick and go. Now, I'm expecting faster speeds. Yeah, we connected to Paris anyway. So, for ping. Uh, roughly the same ping, not not much of a difference. And for speed, it seems like we're getting okay. Yeah, that that there we go. 
11.20, 30, 40, what are we going to get? Okay, 11.35 as opposed to 11.23, a little bit better than uh, Surfshark. I would say in terms of download speed, there's not much of a discrepancy between the two. It's just that uh, Nord seems to reliably uh, give you much better upload. Uh, Surfshark's not doing too well when it comes to upload. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. Now, time to test out a, a cup uh, one. Well, we're gonna we already tested out two nearby servers, so we're just gonna test out uh, uh, one uh, much farther away server for the sake of time. So, uh, let's disconnect from Nord and connect to Surfshark. Now, what we're gonna pick here is, uh, uh, you know, I'm thinking Hong Kong, Taiwan, Vietnam. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go with Japan. Let's just go with Japan because it seems to be the farthest. Uh, Japan, there we go. It should pick the uh, fastest server on its own and we'll see how it does. Anytime now and we are connected. Give it a quick refresh and go. So we're gonna get much worse ping, but we'll see which one gives us the better ping between the two. So 259 ping, obviously there's, there's, there's a huge physical distance between uh, me and Japan. So, okay, we're getting, wow, the speeds are not that bad, man. I'm really impressed with Surfshark. They've been really just improving their services. 10, okay, it seemed like it was gonna get 11 there, but 10.30, that's less than a 20% uh, decrease. That is less than a 20% decrease. My initial speed is 11.84. That's about a 20, maybe, maybe just about 20% decrease, maybe a little bit less, but th that's still just great. And look at this, we got much better upload speed with Japan. So it seems like Surfshark really uh, is keeping up. It's trying to keep up as much as possible when it comes to a uh, much farther away server. So let's connect for it. Let's disconnect from uh, uh, Surfshark real quick and connect to NordVPN and see how it does. Now, this, this will be the real test right here. Let's see which one truly does better here. And give it a quick refresh. Still connecting. And go. I expect Nord to do better here, but we'll see about that. So again, 259, 1029, and 037 for Surfshark. For NordVPN, okay, worse ping, slightly worse ping. You're not gonna get good ping anyways <laughs> uh, when it comes to farther away servers. Uh, I, I wouldn't really recommend uh, connecting it uh, trying to game anyways using farther away servers. So slightly worse uh, download speed and what's gonna happen to the upload speed. So it seems like Nord Surfshark is doing better when it comes to uh, farther away servers. That's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Overall, like across the board, upload, download and ping, it's, it, we got better results. So, okay, okay, that's very interesting. Well, there you have it. That's the <laughs> that's the speed results. My initial speed is at 11.84. Again, 5 ping and 0 0.82 megabits per second for upload. And uh, yeah, first of all, we got Ireland uh, Surfshark speed test here, 11.42 and 0 0.62. Uh, Ireland, uh, Surfshark won this race uh, in terms of download speed only. Uh, well, ping is the same, remained for, for both of them. Uh, Nord got better upload. Uh, for France, we got uh, better results overall uh, in all uh, avenues, except for ping. And it's just one point of ping. It doesn't really matter. Uh, better upload and download for NordVPN right here. Th these are the Nord uh, results. And for J for Japan, Nord simply outperformed Surfshark. I'm, I'm very, imp uh, I mean, excuse me, Surfshark outperformed Nord. Uh, across the board here. I'm very, very impressed with Surfshark. Truly, just something absolutely, what, what a great service for the price you're paying, truly. So again, if you're just, if you just want a service with, you know, that can unblock Netflix, uh, just, 
just typical VPN services. You want good speed and you know so on and so forth. And you don't want to pay that much. Surfshark, man, it's just it's it's a great choice. As you can tell, it's very reliable and it's absolutely great. However, if you're very concerned, if you're concerned about anonymity, about privacy, about logging policies, and and, and absolutely transparent. Um, very transparent logging policy and what they record and what they don't collect and collect about you and and all that jazz the nordvpn is absolutely the way to go and you can it's it's really just one of the best vpns out there both of them they're 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 the top three vpns for me my top three vpns and here you can see these are you know the the, the main vpns i use nordvpn expressvpn and surfshark so for me, the, don't mind CyberGhost. CyberGhost is pretty good, but I, I honestly prefer Surfshark over over. Uh, th 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 these are the top three generally over Surfshark or over, over CyberGhost. Excuse me. So that'll be it for the speed test. I hope you guys enjoyed it or learned something. Uh, you'll find again the special deals and discounts in the description down below. Feel free to take advantage of these. They might they may not be on the original websites. Uh, a like and subscribe would help out a lot, and I would very highly appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.